Welcome to this edition of Three Minutes with Remark. When was the last time you reviewed your client's life policies, even those that you did not write? I may sound like a broken record talking about life insurance review most of the time, but I find these cases to be one of the best sources of business, a win for the client, and a win for you. To give you an idea of what I'm talking about with a few recent cases to come across my desk, the first is a 71-year-old prospect who wanted to add chronic illness coverage. Using his existing cash surrender value of $480,000, we were able to give him the needed death benefit, add a chronic illness rider, and lower his premium. And oh, by the way, a target of $47,000. Just last week, a producer shared an enforced ledger with a $3.3 million cash surrender value for clients hoping to lower their annual premium. And oh, by the way, a target of $175,000. A third case with the $500,000 cash surrender value with an existing loan the clients didn't even know about. Do I have your attention? There's an obvious with term, term nearing the end of the level period annual renewable term, incorrect owner and beneficiary arrangements, 101J compliance, poor or no conversion options, changing needs, and so on. When it comes to permanent coverage, underfunded policies, inflexible design, no living benefits and policy loans, especially overloan scenarios present unique circumstances. Have you been in the middle of a fact-finding process with the client who owns one or more permanent life contracts to learn? It's been years since anyone looked, really understood how the policy is performing, or even thought about if the coverage is still needed by the clients. You may find over the years a number of loans have been taken and now you discover the light you see is in fact a train rushing headlong at the client. There are essentially three options. You can do nothing. The policy is headed for lapse and all the loans that represent any gains over the cost basis will become taxable if lapse occurs. Secondly, you must also consider the client's ability or willingness to repay the loan. So the question now becomes, how do we hit the brakes on the train before the collision? The third and the one we love at 3Mark is complete a 1035 exchange to a new policy and mirror the loan. Recent trends in the market warrant a review. Lower dividends, lower crediting rates, premium restrictions to name a few. With 3Mark's understanding of carrier restrictions for policies with the loan, minimum cash surrender value requirements, and loan to value ratios goes a long way to help you help your client with a successful loan rescue. The replacement of one policy for another must be carefully considered and be in the best interests of the client. I'm Roseanne Kaufman for 3Mark Financial. I look forward to helping you incorporate policy review process into your practice. Knowing the right carrier fit can slow down that oncoming train and give your client the needed time to get off the track and out of harm's way. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to get updates on our video series. Thank you and have a great day.